Okay, now we're going to talk about editing on board the guitar. Now, you can do pretty much everything on the guitar that you would with your pedals. Uh, I like this because I don't have to bend up and break my back going down to my board or squint and look and, and, and press the uh, cursors on a, a rack piece of gear in the dark. It's, once you get some chops on this, it's all intuitive, uh, just like flicking a toggle switch would be on your Les Paul or whatever. Um, so to do that, I just hit this twice real fast, and you're going to get a lavender uh, response on the gear shift knob here. So remember, this is how you select your banks. These are your patches. These are tog pots to select different effects and uh, programs on the guitar. And we'll finish up by talking uh, a little more in detail about each one of those. But I'm on the 90s metal patch. Okay? So on the 90s metal patch, say you like that, but you want more gain out of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flick this red tog pot here. Remember, we call them that because you can turn them and flick them. And I'm going to go up to the compressor mode. I'm going to pull down the noise gate and the threshold on the compressor. And you can hear how I'm getting more sustain out of the patch. I can also attenuate that with the wet dry mix on the tog pot. So I got more gain now. So say I don't like the EQ settings. Let's, um, let's flick the red tog, tog pot down all the way, and it's going to go into EQ mode. So I'm going to uh, get that activated by either moving the uh, tog pot here on the wet drive mix or the slider itself. And now I've got... the ability to customize the sound. That's a little too woofy. Let's bring the bass down, add a little mid. Maybe a little woofy. Bring the mids up a little bit more. It's all coming uh, from the guitar. Now, you can also use this in varying degrees of if you wanted some distortion on the front of your amp, attenuated the guitar, get a mixture of it. It's really doing the same thing that you've always done with your pedals, except you're just on the guitar doing it. And it's a lot faster and a lot easier uh, and, um, you know, more better to uh, use the guitar controls. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is move the knife switch to save that and all I did was move the knife switch and it saved okay so now I have that sound okay now um say I don't I want to start over I, I want to get rid of that uh, let's go back to the sound we had three times on the black tone knob one two three it says restore, and I'm back to the original sound. Um, so as you can see, you can, you can do a lot on the distortions by just using the compressor for more sustain or the EQ to shape the tone. In the editor, you can actually go in and, and select different uh, types of stomp boxes and different drive types as well, and change your cabinet settings. Okay, so if you want to do something in the clean channels, uh, let's go to say, we got this reverb here. And here, if you look on the pedals, as I move this, it's going to give me the type of reverb, okay, that I'm selecting in edit mode. One, two, turns white, and I'm moving the type knob here, and it's telling me which type. Uh, well, it's not in reverb now because I have it up in modulation. Let's go down to reverb. There you go. Then I'll pick something to edit. Okay, Taj Mahal. Although I pick, I just picked a, a chorus and added that by accident because I had it flicked up. Um, but let's uh, let's take a little of that Taj Mahal back. So I'm adding a little more. And 
then I can go up and edit this um, uh, flanger too the same way. Uh, maybe want to add a um, analog delay or digital delay. So to save that again, I just move this uh, knife switch. It's saved and. That's how you end your show with a big long delay. Uh, say I don't like it, one, two, three, restore, and I'm back to just a reverb. So you can layer these sounds and create some pretty spectacular things, <clears throat> uh, all basically to your taste. Um, so once again, at the end of this, I wanna go through the controls. This was your bank selector and patch play mode. There's 11 of those uh, banks. Five-way switch, 55 presets to edit, one, two, turns lavender to save, just move anything and move the knife switch to restore, one, two, three, restore. The uh, gray Todd pot, tune, if you bring it down, 11 two presets of tunings. I just refreshed my tuning there again. Um, it's also a wet, dry piezo control between the magnetics and the piezo pickup. Um, and then you go up here and you've got a five-way programmable switch for the pickups. And you can also, um, when you move this up, it goes into something called red bank functions. And that's how you set your Bluetooth uh, uh, connection uh, to the pedals and how you do some other calibrations and things uh, in the red bank. It's called the utility bank or the function bank. Um, so we go back into the piezo pickup mode here and, you know, we have the red talk pot, which once again turns and you have three here. You have the EQ, the, uh, uh, distortion and the compression. Uh, here you have, uh, your reverb echo modulation and your parameter controls on the side, which will give you the types and the different, um, uh, amounts of delays or distortions and, and things of that nature. 